Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com, and I'm going to do a quick playthrough of my board game, Hexagolf. I just finished a video tutorial for this playtest setup, and I thought it would be nice to just play a few holes and uh, give everyone a chance to see how it's played instead of just describing how it how it's played. So I've got everything set up here. All we need to do is grab one focus to start and fill up our caddy with three clubs from the bag. Didn't get any good drivers. And then at the start of the hole, we draw up to three cards. Got a couple of back swings. That one's too expensive. I need to move these down a little. Slight draw. We might be able to use that. Move the ball one hex to the right. Might be able to use that. Well, we won't be getting on the green, I don't think. That's all right. All right, we'll just try that. Here we go. Three. <laughs> Fantastic. I could put it here for two focus. <laughs> I'm cogitating. You know what? I think I am going to put it there for two focus. We'll discard these, get a focus, and pay two focus to bounce right. So we'll choose that one. Now we're on to our second shot. No focus and no cards, so let's roll. Eight. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang nabbit. All right, we're in the sand. And the sand bunker has a hazard rating of four, so when we get out of there, we're going to have to roll the dice and get a four or higher. Dang, that, mm, that was so close to a birdie. I still got a good chance at a par, though. 3 through 11. But we got to roll our hazard die. Come on. Oh, dang. All right. We failed the hazard. So we have to roll again to find out where the club goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it goes here. Oop, not there. There. Well, we still have a chance to get on the green. Come on, seven. Four. Good enough. All right. Out of the bunker, but still on the green, and we got a bogey because we landed on the plus one. Well, I don't get very many bogeys, so that's a pretty poor start. <laughs> Put these back in the bag. Hey, what are you doing? Get in there. Two focus for finishing the hole. Put our played cards in the discard pile. Oh, I didn't realize. I took the last club from the caddy so I get a focus too. I always forget that. I mean, it's my rule and I played this game a hundred times and I still forget that. I, I need to change when that happens or some other way to help remember to trigger that because if I'm forgetting it I know other people are gonna <laughs> all right we've got some 
I like these clubs. This is one of my favorite short clubs. They're shorter clubs. All right, pre-visualize. I just changed this card. Roll twice when you swing and choose one result. Something different. Return all clubs. We don't want that one. Twirl club. That one's nice, but it's expensive. I'm actually going to discard these two and draw one for my anytime skills. Okay, roll twice and average the result round down. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Par 4. I'm going to play pre-visualize. Pay two focus. Roll twice when you swing and choose one result. All right, here we go. Twelve. Uh, I'm probably not going to change that one. <laughs> Seven. Yes. Thank you. Beautiful. That was a beautiful play. Okay. Still got practice swing we could play also. This is a par five or par four. Is that one with the backwards number bugs me. I thought I fixed all those. All right. Nine through twelve, huh? Either way, it's all right, I guess. Seven. All right. Oh, yeah. So, we took the last club. We get a focus. I remembered. It just kind of it interrupts the flow of the shot. That's what I don't like about it. Now... I think I'm going to go ahead and try this practice swing. This has never done much for me, averaging the two rolls. But I'll try it again. Because I do want a seven. Alright, so we got a three. And a nine. Twelve. We got a six. Ah, perfect. Alright, it worked. And we're in the hole with three, so we got a birdie on the second hole. Nice. Get rid of these, get our two focus for finishing. Whoops. I'm kind of clumsy with Tabletop Simulator. I've never used it much. Not until I started making this. <laughs> All right, next hole. Got a tree in the way. Still need our cards. Couple landing cards and a follow through. Lucky bounce and strange bounce. All right. Well, we might be able to get a hole in one here with our lucky bounce. All right, all we need is a seven <laughs> or a three through seven. Hit it, four. All right, where's my ball? Got a four. And then we'll go down here and play this. Lucky bounce, move the ball one hex in any direction. Pay those. And we'll choose this direction. Boom, hole in one. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. That's Bongo.
There you go. Ace. I just recently changed the rewards you get at the end of the hole, and it feels like you should get something for a hole in one, but I mean, I guess you already got a hole in one. That's the super big bonus already, so. I'm going to discard these two cards at the end of the turn to b grab a focus. And now we're on to hole four. It's a par five. Got one of each. Careful backswing. This can be a big card. Mid swing adjustment. <clears throat> Excuse me. These are all decent cards. Now, do we have anything to get over this? I'm gonna draw a club. Consult my caddy. Dang, I don't like that. Well, it's a par five. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and splurge, remove my club right before I hit it. Eight. All right, well, that's decent. Whoops. Forgot to put my club away. Now I'm out of focus. I could discard those two for a focus. Oh, I'll get one here in a second. Here we go. Empty the caddy, get a focus. Some nice long ones. All right. Five. Oh, no. I'm in the water, but I'm going to play mid-swing adjustment to re-roll one of my swing die. And we'll re-roll this one. Come on. Four. What the heck? Okay, then. Well, I'm in the water. It hasn't... I don't think I've ever gotten the water since I added it. Maybe once. All right, so we have to put a club into the bag or into the used clubs for our penalty stroke. I'm going to use this one. Now we have to move out of the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hexes away. I can move here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Ah, that hurt. We still got a chance to get par. If we're pretty much out of resources, though. Eight. All right, four strokes. Now, can we dig it? No. We're struggling on this hole. There we go. One chance. I knew there was some way to get there. Okay, that's a tricky putt, though. All right. Is there a focus for cleaning it out? 
five. Tricky putt. Five. So we're going to be on this green. We got plenty of clubs. I'm going to take this one for our tricky putt stroke. Now we'll just concentrate on getting that bonus. For staying in the staying on the green. Maybe covering them all. I've never managed to do that yet, but Dang, that was pretty close. These ones are so long. Uh, it doesn't matter. There we go. We're done. We got a six. No bonus. Boy, I'm getting a poor score on this on this attempt well I did get a hole in one then I went straight on to get a bogey so well, that's pretty good <laughs> all right we're on the hole five here Let's see if we can redeem ourselves not with those clubs I get the two focus for finishing the hole and I get a drop to three I think I don't have to change that focus to grabbing them when you draw cards all right we got an accurate shot backspin or bounce left but I need a club I don't like these clubs oh that's scary ah The ball there. All right, dice. Ba -ding! Seven, yes. Now, can I get around those trees? Perfect. <laughs> get my focus for cleaning the caddy. Get our club, see what we got coming up here. Bunch of biggins. I'm just gonna roll six. I'm going to pay three focus. Play accurate shot and follow through and go for 10. That'll put me a little closer. Close enough to get on the green, I think. Yeah. 8 through 12 or 3 through 7. I'm going to discard these to draw focus. Nine.
Tricky putt for a birdie. Nice. All right. This one's going to be tough, though. I think I'll draw one from the back. So, yeah, we're on hole five. That's this one. Tricky putt. All right. Let's see what we got here. That was nice. That was nice. Nice. We're going to get us a birdie and a bonus. Haha, <laughs> look at that. Bing! <laughs> I like that. That's pleasing. <laughs> All right, I get a bonus for staying within the green hexes. And then, uh, what do we shoot? A birdie. We got a four. Get a two focus for finishing. Draw three cards. And we're on the hole six. Dog leg par four. Move your club one hex back. We could get a mulligan token. And we could bend it. That's a nice card also. Plus three, minus three. All right. Let's hit that thing. Follow through plus three, maybe. Eight. I'm going to use this Bandit card and add three to that. So, 11. Bing. Extra hex never hurt. Oh, man. I'm going to draw a club. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. We want to be on either one of these. Come on, dice. Five. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one fits right on there like a glove. We get our focus. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, I could flip this. Get to seven. Hey, get to seven on there. Yeah, beautiful. Boing! Six. All right, we're on. Nice. That was a well-earned part three. That was a well-played hole. Or birdie. One, two, three. So, we are... Three, plus one, even. Minus two. Minus one. Minus two. We're minus three for the for the whole round. That's not bad considering we got a bogey. We did get a hole in one though also. <laughs> what does that rate us here according to our chart? We're a club pro. <clears throat> All right. Well, there's a sample round of Hexagolf. I hope that was fun. I hope you give it a try. And if you do, I hope you tell me how it went. I would love to hear any feedback you have about playing the game. So check the links in the doobly-doo. Go give it a try and have a good day.